Randall? Yes. Wonderful. Welcome, everybody. My name is Reverend David Seidel, and I want you to know it is an absolute treat to be here this afternoon. They gave me a couple, two minutes to do a special welcome to everybody on behalf of this wonderful man and his beautiful bride-to-be. I met David and Rosalie about a month ago, and I brought a script with me, but we're going to be pretty much off script today because of, because of what they've done and how they've touched my heart. And I'm sure all of you feel that today as well. So the best weddings are weddings where everyone who's gathered has a chance to participate and give a blessing. So how we're going to do this at the end of the ceremony, before David and Rosalie walk down the aisle, I'm going to say something like, OK, who's got a word? One word, a blessing for the couple. All right? And when you hear that command, I want you to stand up, and I want you to send that blessing to the couple. Nothing disrespectful. <laughs> right. We've, we've rehearsed this. Now, if nobody stands up, I'll go first. OK? And then when, when we've had enough blessings and we feel we're full, we send them down the aisle as Mr. and Mrs. Does that sound good? Yeah. Great. OK. So in the great tradition of the Sadiq family and the Pierce family, I want to say welcome, salam. It's great to be here in this picture-perfect day. Thank you, Randall.
Thank you, Blaze.
This is a beautiful day, beautiful celebration. I want to ask you, Hussein, one question. Who gives away this most beautiful bride in the world in marriage? Thank you. Good luck, buddy. Surely. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's good. Oh. Oh, yeah. How much can I take? David and Rosalie, welcome to this auspicious day. And your wonderful son, Maxon. I want to acknowledge all the people who are here today, all the people who made this possible, including this beautiful couple standing in front of me. I want to acknowledge all of those who were not able to be here, who are past, all the great folks in our families. They have made a difference in these two standing in front of us. So just take a moment to thank those folks who brought us here today. Thank them deeply. Feel that gratitude in your heart. When I think about you two, and it's only been a month that we've known each other. I feel blessed to be standing with you today. And I'll tell you why. You epitomize for me one word, welcome. You guys have a heart that can fill this world many, many times over. And that's very, very rare. So when I ask myself, when I get up on Monday morning and we've heard yet another story on the news, how can we make this world a better world? Marry David and Rosalie. That's the way we can make this a better world. In this marriage, right here, right now. That's not in the script. I believe it. A favorite song of mine says, and maybe some of you know this, and I'm going to dedicate these words to the two of you. A bell. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Go for it, man. Back at you. Look what you're doing. There's going to be a lot of music today. You just heard some of it. <laughs> you the song says, a bell's not a bell till you ring it. A song's not a song till you sing it. Love in your heart wasn't put there to stay. Love is not love till you give it away. So, I wish you guys many, many years of marriage together. I understand the path of marriage. It's very challenging. I believe you guys have what it takes to make it successful. And as I told you on the first day I met you, I am with you as your friend forever in this marriage. The Bible says love is patient. You folks can sit down, please. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. 
David and Rosalie, love never fails. You two have prepared vows to each other. And we want to hear those now. Are we ready? Rosalie. Go ahead. You're good. You're good. Dave, you're my best friend, my soulmate, my baby daddy. I feel very lucky that we found each other. I love you more than pizza, and we all know that's a lot. We made the most beautiful, sweetest, awesome little boy who is your mini-me. I love my life so much with you two in it. Never did I ever feel so beautiful when I was pregnant with Maxon. Every day you told me how pretty I was and that I was the best waddler ever. I promise to never watch Game of Thrones without you. And I want to always binge watch Netflix with you, even if I do fall asleep three minutes into the show. In sickness and in health, I promise to always take care of you when you're sick. And maybe if you've had a little too much to drink the night before. <laughs> Jesus. I'll throw that in there. Maybe. <laughs> For richer or poorer, I promise to shop a little less in Nordstrom's. <laughs> I promise to always dance with you. I promise that when we fight, I'll just be mad at you for just one hour, and then we'll get over it and order a pizza and snuggle. <laughs> I can't wait to travel the world with you in our little chicken nugget. On this day, I give you my heart, my promise that I will walk with you hand in hand wherever our journey leads us, living, learning, loving together forever, and being the best parents that we could ever be for our little Maxim. And to end this with a Dr. Seuss quote, <laughs> we're all a little weird, and life's a little weird. And when we find someone whose weirdness is compatible with ours, we join up with them and fall into mutual weirdness and call it love. I love you so much. I cannot wait to be Miss Pierce. Love your puzzle piece, your shrimp sauce, your soon-to-be wife. <laughs> yeah, kiss her hand. Do whatever you want. That was beautiful. David, please. I didn't even write anything. I didn't know what doing. <laughs> Just kidding. I wish I had it memorized. And I mean, I got a little stretched out with it. Am I close enough? You're fine, you're fine. You're... Rose Lee. Every time we lock eyes, every organ, bone, nerve, every tiny cell in my body is taken back with emotion. I'm beyond lucky to have known you for years. And when the opportunity arose to get to know you on a different level, I ran at that opening faster than Usain Bolt. <laughs> That's uh, the fastest man in the world. He's a Jamaican Olympic sprinter, in case I confused anyone. From the night at the bowling alley, when it came to my attention that you were interested to know me better as well, <laughs> my life was changed. My life became better. Life had more meaning. My cheeks hurt for days from the smile you created. You being the most beautiful angel on earth barely breaks the surface on the majestic person you are. You exude what life should be. Everyone loves you for a reason. When you smile, the world smiles. Your positive effect on any situation is mystifying. Some people have it, and baby, you got it. <laughs> it's natural. Maybe you have your incredible family genes to thank a little bit. <laughs> what you're saying. I call you my soulmate because there's no other soul on earth that is supposed to synthesize the way ours do together. I call you mama because you're the most incredible mother to our son. Max in. <laughs> Where you went? To Mac, Mr. Max and River Pierce. Max seems to know, but he can't completely understand how incredible and uncommon it is to have a mother of your magnitude. I call you my puzzle piece because when you put our... Put our two pieces together, and we are some pieces of work, mind you. They connect as if they were made for each other, because you know what? They were. But most of all, <laughs> but most of all, and certainly my favorite, I call you my shrimp sauce. I love hibachi, and I love shrimp sauce. <laughs> I put it on everything, because it makes anything better. I get steamed rice to stoke, soak up the shrimp sauce like a sponge. 
I couldn't hold back from telling you I love you more than shrimp sauce. Just like when I couldn't contain myself when I told you I was desperately in love with you in Mexico. Te amo, mi amor. <laughs> Thank you for being that delightful sauce, as I will be your steamed rice forever. All right, I'm going a long way with these hibachi references. Okay. <laughs> But anyway, thank you for letting me be a part of your beautiful family. I'm beyond honored. Thank you for being a great mother. So to you, my puzzle piece, mama, soulmate, shrimp sauce, thank you for loving me. Even when we're buried skeletons, holding hands, I will never let you go. You are the love of my life. And to be the one to say your name this way for the last time, Rosalie Nahil Sadiq, I love you. <laughs> As you guys hold hands, we're going to bring up Maxon in a moment to join you. I want you to feel the earth that supports you at this time. Through these flagstones, through this pasture, so that you can go forward as a family and grow. You've said it all. Let's bring up Maxon. Come here, boy. Maxon. Maxon. Be careful, Mom. Cobblestone. Oh. Come here, monkey. David, Rosalie, Maxon. These are the hands that will help you to blend and hold this family together forever. God bless you all. Maxon, mommy and daddy are going to put their rings on now. Okay. You want to hold them? Uh, Uncle Donnie. Uh, yeah, yeah, pacifier too. Thanks, ma'am. Where's his passive? Yeah. Okay. Uncle oh. Donnie. We're kind of winging it. So, the rings. It's time. You've chosen beautiful rings for the ceremony, and they're a great symbol of how you guys come together. You've more than expressed it in words. So I'm going to ask you to say something as you put the ring on each other and then finish it with the three words, which you know they are, right? You ready, David? Shrimp sauce. <laughs> with this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. Okay. Oh. Okay. Rosalie. Okay. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. So we're going to have a declaration of intention now. And there's a script. You've heard it before, but we're going to change it up a little bit because that's the order of the day. Three words. Listen, honor, and friend. Mr. David, 
Do you promise to listen to Rosalie completely? Do you promise? <laughs> do you promise to honor her? Do you promise? <laughs> do you promise to be her friend always? I do. Rosalie. When David speaks, do you promise to listen to him? Yes. Do you promise to honor him? I promise. Do you promise to be his friend? I very much promise to be his friend. Thank you. And the listening part is the first part, and it's also the last part. Because when there's good listening in a marriage, whoa. Yeah. Wonderful. I'm sure everyone here can attest to that. And that's listening where you don't have to say anything. You just listen. You don't have to fix. You just listen. And then you ask the other person, do you feel heard? And then it's maybe their turn or it's not their turn. You guys got it. Good. I want to ask everyone here today now, to hold a moment of silence by closing your eyes and whatever it is that you feel in your heart, send that love to Rosalie and David. And keep some for yourself. Just keep circling that, that love from your heart to their heart. A continuous heat pump. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them, Thank you. Rosalie and David, it is truly an honor to stand with you today. By the power vested in me by the state of North Carolina, in the great town of Monroe. <laughs> it is an honor and a privilege to say you are husband and wife. <laughs> you may kiss the bride. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got a word. Who's got a word? Stand up. Yes, sir. Charity. Charity, wonderful. Love. Love. Lasting. 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 Wealth. Wealth. Forever. Forever. Joy. Joy, ever vested. Prayers. Happiness. Happiness. Daughter. Health. Daughter. Respect. Respect. Oh. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, we didn't. Hold on. One second, sir. Laughter. Peace. I heard peace. What else? Honor. Trust. Patience. Trust. Trust. Blessed. Genuine. Genuine. Friendship. Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet Mr. and Mrs. David Pierce. Woo!